projected interest rates in five years. When are interest rates going up? I'm Lisa Del Zampo. Interest rates are already rising. I started doing loans in 2007 after the market fell due to all those stated income loans that didn't state actual income of borrowers and instead relied on figures that either the loan officer or the borrower themselves stated without showing income documents. So when I started into the industry, it had switched over entirely to 30-year fixed loans with full income documentation. I've done loans with the interest rate in the sixes, fives, fours, threes, and twos. In the twos for the last year or so. I do a lot of military VA loans out in the Inland Empire in California. And I did one of the probably last loans that was locked at a rate of 2.99% just closed yesterday and I have another closing next week. And after that, rates are going to be in the fours. That's where we're shopping them now for buyers who will be getting into escrow now. Let's take a look at the loan I closed last week, just the numbers to get an idea of what the interest rate increase is going to do for purchase prices for borrowers who are financing their purchase. That loan was a $570,000 loan for an active duty military VA buyer. It also had a VA funding fee stacked on top of that, 2.3% for his first time use of that. But that won't matter to most of you. We always have to state what the APR is, and based on the taxes and the various fees involved, that APR was about 3.287. On a VA loan, the lender collects taxes and insurance on top of the principal and interest of the loan each month. In addition, if there's an HOA fee, the borrower pays that separately. So this client last week on a $570,000 purchase price had a monthly payment of $3,139 per month, plus another $150 in homeowners association or HOA dues. And that was at that 2.99 rate. Now let's apply a 4.125 or four and an eighth rate to that same loan amount, $570,000. And the new monthly payment, principal interest, taxes and insurance goes up to $3,510 a month, plus additionally paying the HOA payment of 150. That's an increase of $371 per month. Now let me tell you why that's meaningful. I talked to a lot of these veterans who are active duty military and their housing allowance is about $3,200 a month, living at Camp Pendleton, San Diego area bases and so on. And they really aren't comfortable going much higher, if any higher, than their housing allowance to purchase a home. So now if they're looking at a purchase price of $570,000, yet having to pay well over $3,600, they can't do it, they can't sleep at night. And so what do we do to get that payment down? There are only so many things to do, and the biggest one would be to lower the purchase price that that veteran is offering to the owner of the home. And to reduce the monthly payment by enough to get back down into the payment we were talking about earlier, under the $3,200 housing allowance amount, that purchase price reduction would go from 570,000 down to 510,000, a reduction of $60,000 in cash that the seller then would not have in their pocket if the deal were put together. Now, an agent friend of mine said, well, there's so much money coming out of the coastal areas of San Diego and Los Angeles to buy in our Inland Empire area, that that's just gonna knock out a few buyers from this frenzied seller's market where they are getting upwards of 10 and 15 and 20 offers on a home. But it is an indicator of the dampening effect across the whole economy for any buyer who is going to be financing their purchase that they're gonna to have to come up with cash or reduce the purchase price that they're offering. So this is an indicator of what interest rates are doing and where they'll be going in five years. They're going up. Back in 1990, when we purchased our first home, it, there was an interest rate in the nines. 
Now, were those interest rates on these kinds of higher purchase price points? No. Our first purchase of a home in Irvine was $197,000. That same home now, I don't want to look, but I think it's somewhere in the seven, eight hundred, possibly nine hundred thousand dollar range. So an increase in interest rate on a much higher purchase price like that is way more painful, but the principle still exists. It's going to reduce what that buyer can offer the seller. That would tend to push prices down a bit and dampen things. What does that mean for the Rancho Palos Verdes, Peninsula, San Pedro area, Torrance, Redondo Beach, Manhattan Beach, LA area. What we experienced back in the recession in the 05 through 2012 timeframe was actually that prices near the coast did not drop as significantly, if at all, in the very uh, pricey areas or wealthy areas. Instead, out where we are and have, <coughs> instead out in the inland area of California, is where pricing took a huge hit and dropped sometimes half of what the highest price of a home had been in the 2005-06 timeframe, down from 670,000 to people were purchasing homes on that same street for about $300,000. Is that happening yet? No, but the indicator is there and I wanted to update my followers. If you have questions, you know what to do.